Hey everybody, my name is Chaz Brightwell and I am 19 years old from Richmond, Virginia, but I guess that doesn't really much matter because in three days I'm moving to Hot Springs, Arkansas. Um, I've been called many names. I was um, recently Chaz Brightwell Monroe Kennedy, uh, but I changed my name because um, coming from successful families, I think one of the things that I'm worried about is having people A, attach me to the family and associating all my prosperity and stuff like that with my family and although they helped me you know I don't want to milk off their success and their successful careers and also because I wanted to make my own last drag name I am the first Brightwell here in Richmond and um I'm I think I'm doing pretty well on my own I w came from a rocky beginning in drag which was back in January where I had a drag father and I fucked things up with him and I had to start on my own again and it was really scary but um, the thing that I found out about Chaz is that if you I'm trying to think of the way to word this I got dropped from everyone that I knew and no one would give me a chance and somehow I still made a way and in three months I was crowned your um, Godfrey's Idol winner for the month of April I believe um, I'm also, in February, this isn't really important, but in February I won Mr. Best Buns, um, which is a nice ass contest, and you can eat your hot out, ladies. Um, I mean, like I said, I've only been entertaining since January, and I have regular bookings. Um, it shows here in Richmond and stuff like that, um, especially at Godfrey's, uh, which is like the major drag bar here. Uh, my drag mother, Heavenly Kennedy, hosts a show. I actually come from three drag families. Crazy. Um, I'm from the legendary Richmond families, the Monroes and the Kennedys. And also, you may know my drag mother, Fifi O'Hara. She was only on RuPaul's Drag Race Season 5. Um, but I don't use her last name because, I mean, I don't want, like, fame off of that. She's just, me and her are really cool, and I love her to death. Um, let's see. Why do I want to be the next Drag King superstar? Well, if I could magically make all my facial hair and stuff appear, I would be like, meh. Um, I want to be the best. Like, I want to have people look at me and go, hot damn, that's a Drag King? I want them to feel like every performance is like a fucking concert. I get off on that, on being on that stage and having all those people go, oh, I've had so many people come and be like, you make me want to walk on the other side. And that's really a compliment. I mean, because I don't have facial hair every day. I don't have the thick manly eyebrows that I have every day. And I certainly don't go around performing songs to people all damn day long. Um, I want to be the best that there ever was. So that means that I have to perfect this art form. And I think I can do it. I would love to run this competition. If not, to win, I mean, although I have the heart of a champion, but to learn and grow, because I really want to, I really, I really want to, I want to make something of this. I don't want this to be something I do for three years and then just stop. This is my creative outlet. It's how I express myself. It's how I am one of the most nervous people that I know. But when I step on that stage, I give you nothing but glamour and sexiness and studliness and oh my god, I'm sexy and I know it. And I make you think that I was born to be an entertainer because I was. You don't know that once I get off stage, I have to go take two huge gulps of my inhaler. It's, this is my high, this is my fix. I could be out doing drugs or other things like that, but I chose drag. So why do I wanna be your next drag superstar? Because this is something I wanna do in the long run and I want to be the best. And I think that running this competition can help me get there. I'm Chaz Bryantwell and I approved this message.